Stop getting scammed by sports cards in 2024. I almost got scammed. Grab your popcorn because this is gonna be one of the craziest stories you've ever heard. The feds found more than $7 million worth of the fakes inside his home. It ends today. This is content, not drama. You guys, you're in for a real surprise today. Future of trading sports cards is right here right now. How many of you guys have been scammed or you're worried about selling and trading your expensive sports cards? Well, there's a solution for that. It is called Veriswap. I'm going to tell you guys about something really, really sick. I told you guys I was giving away packs all year. I picked up thousands of packs from Panini and Tops. I'm going to pick about 10 winners. All you have to do is like this video and comment down below. What is the best sports card Pokemon TCG trade that you've ever done? Nobody likes to get scammed in any deal. It's the worst feeling in the world. And when you have a card that you really like, it's really scary to ship it across, whether you're shipping it overseas in the United States, but you want the card to get there, but you also want to get your end of the trade back. That can be a really tedious process, and a lot of us don't want to deal with that. This right here is the future of trading cards. So I can trade, buy, and sell at my fingertips. Cool thing about me being in New York right now is I am with the CEO and creator of Veriswap. So Veriswap is a marketplace. The idea is that we allow users to experience trade night 24-7. So regardless of any hour of the day, any day of the week, uh, you can go onto our app or website and basically trade cards in exchange for other cards. I'm in New York, it's a Sunday night, it's around 8.30, and I obviously can't make it to trade night. That has been solved. I have trade night at my fingertips. Raymond, tell me about that. It's very easy. All you need to do is download the Veriswap app, upload your cards, and people will start making offers on your collection within minutes. So check this out. I picked this up over the weekend. It's a second year Drew Brees 2002 on-card autograph. We're gonna upload this card on Veriswap and sell this tonight. So you ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. Press upload card. Can take a camera scan of the QR code. Look at this. There it is. Look there at that go. green, that's sick. And all of the classification info for that card. And you didn't have to take a picture, show them that. It was scanned it by was scanned. It was scanned by PSA. Scanned by PSA. So for 300 bucks. 300 dollars Okay, cool. Now, now it's in your inventory and people will be able to make offers on your cards. That is so convenient. We're gonna upload the rest of these on my store for trade, for sale. So we wanna get these going. So we got a little V Friends. We got a little Connor Bedard, Tops Now, T-Law Red. We're just gonna give this away to Trey Lance Silver. <laughs> we'll give this away if you've made it this far in the video. Like and comment, Connor Bedard, Tops Now. We're gonna put this in our, for trade and we'll put it up. You pick it as a uh, raw card. Boom. And then you can upload the back. Cool. Okay. Pick the condition, say it's an eight. Add to your inventory. Oh, you can actually put card condition in there. So our card's in there? Yep. So the card will be in my inventory. It'll be in your inventory soon, yeah. Live action photo right there. Live action and photo. And we can check a Let's comp. Can you, can you click to check the comp on both of yeah. those? I wanna see what that looks like. This idea came from you know our users. Um, a lot of our users, they requested that you're able to see comps and you know we built that in a few weeks time. How about that? You guys are always asking me, how do you check comps? You go on 130 point, you go on eBay, sold listings. Well, literally on the app, you didn't even have to type it in. He can see sold listings with one click right here, right now at, at your fingertips. You can list your cards for a trader for sale at your home and you can check the prices as you're listening to make sure you have the right accurate pricing. I really wanna list this PSA 9 T-Law Crusade Red, so I'm gonna give it to you. Cool, uh, so we're gonna show a different upload method this time. Uh, you can enter in this zero number. Oh, you're gonna manually enter it in? Yep. And you guys worked with PSA to get this data, right? Uh, yeah, we have access to PSA's uh, database and we can basically pull all of their information, press continue, and all of the information will be populated over here. And all you did was enter in the serial number. All I did was enter in the serial number up here. And look at that, there it is. And that's the, the image. Exact, and that's the exact scan from PSA. Correct. I think that's cool because you don't have to take a photo. Exactly. Um, I personally did not like taking photos, so I made it so that you don't have to take photos. That's awesome. Let's put uh, our value at, let's just put it at 23 bucks. $23, okay, cool. And then all of this information is already pre-populated as well. Press add to inventory. Um, right there. So we, you can actually check comps with the push of a button. And then also a shout out to Market Movers. Uh, we're integrating with Market Movers in a few weeks where Market Movers will help us pull the last comp directly into the app so that you won't even need to uh, press this button. So It'll click this, let's check the comp, let's see it. So what do we see? All right, so one sold for $43. 43. So someone's gonna get a steal yeah, right now. Steal. Yeah, someone's getting a steal. $20 under price, here we go. All right, there it is. So, <laughs> so you know what, we'll we make go. it happen. What are some of the biggest trades that have gone down on Veriswap? 
Yeah, um, so we had our largest trade ever uh, happen last month. Uh, it, was a, it was a crazy deal. When I saw it go through, I thought you know, it was amazing. Uh, so it was a 1997 uh, Jordan patch auto out of 23. Uh, you know, one of those pack pulled Jordan patch autos in a BGS 7.5. Uh, it was traded for, if I believe off the top of my head, it was an Otani Bowman Chrome Blue Refractor Auto, um, a 90s Jordan Auto. Um, I think it was the incredible one of the incredible cards. Um, and then a uh, Jackie Robinson PSA 4. Wow. Um, so it was a 177K uh, in total. Um, if you want to look at the details, it's on our Instagram page. It's the first uh, first trade that's pinned to the top. What was the inspiration behind this? Yeah, um, so I used to trade cards full time and I personally just got sick and tired of flying every weekend to a different city to do trades. And I really liked uh, the trade nights at all the card shows. Um, so I wanted a place to trade uh, you know, when I wasn't at these shows. So what better way to do it than to make an app myself and figure it out. I'll be real with everybody. I got scammed for a James Gandolfini fans of the game auto, Sopranos. I was very disappointed. It seemed too good to be true now. It was $750 for the card, raw, which it's a great deal because the card probably sells between 950 and 1000 And I sent PayPal family friends and I got scammed. It was a horrible feeling. The thing that makes me upset is that person is involved in the community under many burner accounts. And one thing Raymond's done with Veriswap is the app's been designed to protect the collectors from these type of situations. So Raymond, tell me about preventing scamming and you know the safety of trades. So in addition to being a marketplace where you can list your items, uh, we're also a middleman service. So basically what happens is when you and your trade partner agree to a deal, both sides ship to our headquarters where we verify everything. We make sure that you know both sides are sending what they say they're going to send. And then once we verify that everything is good, uh, we'll ship it out. So there's no way that a trade goes through um, if someone, say for example, just sends an empty box, which we see happen quite often on Facebook actually. What inspired you to want to protect the community? Yeah, I think for me, um, I used to be really active in the Facebook groups, I still am. Um, and I think a lot of people have in those groups have shared experiences of them uh, getting scammed, uh, whether intentionally or even unintentionally. So say for example, you know, if a package gets lost, there's often a lot of insurance dispute gray area claims. Um, so, you know, from just seeing my personal experiences getting scammed, as well as, you know, other people's experience, um, I wanted to use this opportunity to make the community a safer place. I wish I would have been on Veriswap to get the James Gandolfini. I can't get my money back. So to hear that, that's a good feeling, especially as collectors. We always want to, you know, get deals done in person. Obviously, I prefer to do in-person deals, but if we can't make it to trade night or we can't get a deal done uh, through Instagram or I don't trust the person, at least on Veriswap, both send at the same time and we're both protected, which that's a great feeling. Trading right now with sports cards is at an all-time high. Not everybody can spend $5,000. You can trade those cards. And I think trading right now in 2024, I've seen a lot more trades than sales. That's something that I experienced um, physically, you know, at these card shows as well, you know, we would see these big deals go down and almost all of them involve some sort of trade component. Now that you know, the market um, is, you know, kind of not at 2020 levels, uh, we want collectors to be able to have cards that they've always wanted, right? And by consolidating cards that they currently have into cards that they really want, um, that proposition is a lot more favorable versus like, you know, having to sell your cards on eBay uh, and then, you know, cash out and then buy that card, right? So we want to eliminate a lot of that friction that happens there. I want you to open some packs. I right, need to pull it. something good, so good luck, let's see it. Talk about like your goal to bond the right communities with each other within the app. Yeah, for sure. So uh, we want Veriswap to be a place where people can hang out even when they're not at shows. Eventually expand beyond uh, just the transactional component, right? We want people to, you know, have a place where they can like talk about their favorite pulls, um, talk about you know their favorite PC cards uh, even when they're not at shows because I think um, that aspect is kind of like what keeps the community alive and what keeps you know the hobby very very exciting. Oh, silver rookie, Scotty Barnes. Nice. You know I always say the hobby is inclusive, not exclusive. What's the lowest amount of card, like price-wise card, you could sell on there or trade on there? Uh, yeah, so ten dollars. Um, and the reason why we do that is because there's obviously shipping fees involved. Right, so you know, if you have to ship to us, it's gonna cost you a few dollars. So, um, you know, we want to make it worth it uh, for the shipping cost. Do you remember your first pack of cards? I actually don't rip that much, um, but I was doing like some rips during COVID, um, and you know, I bought a bunch of Hobby Select and opened it. Miles Bridges, Miles Bridges dang, Miles Bridges coming in on. What are some positive things you want to see that maybe you can help with with Veriswap in our sports card community? Um, I think uh, there's positives in terms of like building community. Uh, we have groups within our apps. 
where users will soon eventually be able to uh, kind of chat with other users to talk about you know their favorite PC cards. Uh, we eventually want to be kind of like a sports card news platform where we alert people of potential bad actors in the community so that say for example if someone does unfortunately um, get scammed out even outside of the app um, that you know everyone in the community is alert and that it doesn't happen to you know two three four other people. How did you decide to partner up with eBay and 130 point uh, to check comps like talk about the importance of you know getting a car for the right price. You know a lot of our users they wanted to make sure that you know they were getting a fair deal um, and you know they were looking up comps for the correct card and not you know a completely different card right so we made it easy so that you know we would basically instantly search 130 point um, as well as eBay uh, to find uh, these comps instantly uh, at a push of a button. What are the fees that I have to pay for this and what are the fees Troy has to pay? Yeah uh, so Veriswap charges 1.5% um, of the total trade value to each trade partner. So if you're trading $500 for $500 worth of cards, uh, each side would be paying $15. So you guys are less than eBay? We're less than eBay. We obviously like wanted to create like a platform where there would be as little friction as possible for people to do transactions, right? And we know that you know people who are collectors, they're very cognizant of how much they spend, right? So we wanted to kind of like strike that correct balance between you know running a successful business at the same time uh, creating a fair deal uh, for the other side of the table as well. Talk to you about my frustrations with scamming in the sports card community. The problem I have too, and it, and it bothers a lot of us, is when someone scams, people forget. How does your app help stop, prevent scamming and stop scammers from currently doing what they're doing? Yeah, for sure. Um, so basically, logically, it's impossible to scam, right? We don't, if someone, say for example, sends an empty package, um, there's no way we would let that trade go through. Um, the second is that we also have an internal database of uh, any scammers um, who are potentially bad actors and would uh, you know, want to do anything bad against the community. Plan on making that info accessible to collectors um, so that you know, once someone tries something once, they can't uh, repeatedly do it. We want to make that information permanent, right? So that um, you know, no one gets taken advantage of more than once. Sports card shows have taught me a lot about community, business, uh, relationships, and I've always said, build long-term relationships early. What did you learn from sport like this, developing this app? I think initially, um, you know, this is the first app I've ever built. Um, and initially, you know, I was not too sure about the idea of uh, building an app, um, but you know, through uh, doing what I was afraid of, taking kind of like putting one foot um, in front of the other, um, I've learned so, so much uh, throughout this journey. Um, and it's been an incredible experience, uh, both in terms of you know on a personal level um, kind of like my own self-development um, but also just hearing about the experiences about other people about you know giving people uh, access uh, to shows uh, access to cards that they otherwise uh, were not able to get access to so it's been very rewarding for me like what kind of in-person development can you guys work with Veriswap? yeah that's interesting that you asked so uh, we actually have an in-show feature um, where we can a promote shows that are happening around the country and B, allow every attendee of the show who's also a Veriswap user to uh, list their inventory to the show, right? I think one of the personal frustrations that I had uh, when buying and selling cards was that the best inventory would, all, would not be, you know, at the dealers, but they would be in the little, show, in the little showcases that people uh, were carrying around, right? So we want to make that accessible to, you know, everyone at the show, not just, you know, the, the dealers. Um, and I think, you know, that's kind of been shown, um, you know, through the adoption of this feature. You know, every show we have a couple hundred people who uh, sign up and uh, you know display their inventory uh, on this live show feature. Shout out anybody that like inspired you. It could be family, it could be people in the hobby that you know kind of inspired Veriswap to keep going or you know you'd give credit to. First started flipping sports cards full time um, after seeing a Gary Vee article. Um, I was on LinkedIn one day uh, looking for a job and I saw Gary Vee. Wasn't a job post, but it was an article about um, flipping sports cars. The idea of like doing things that you're scared of, um, not caring what other people think, um, and basically just you know taking risks. So shout out to Gary Vee um, for uh, inspiring me um, along this journey. Not only you know be fully committed to sports cards, but also kind of like creating this Verisoft app uh, for the community. We want the hobby to be worldwide, and there there's a big gap. I mean, if we go to an international country, we always say we're going to see cards we never get to see. How are you guys bridging the gap between the international and obviously the United States and worldwide collectors for trading? Yeah, so um, our app is live in every country. So we have you know, users internationally who ship their cards to the Veriswap headquarters in America to execute their trades. 
Uh, from personal experience, you know, I was at the ASCC uh, in Macau uh, in December, and I saw a ton of really awesome cards. When I showed the app to a lot of uh, Chinese collectors, you know, they told me how you know they wanted to trade cards, but they didn't really have the ability to uh, trade in like you know a safe and reliable way. Um, and you know, from seeing their PCs, uh, you know, that's I think definitely something that I want to bring to Western collectors as well to kind of bridge the gap. Uh, between the east and the west we're talking about you know dealing community positivity what goes into making a trade negotiations always have to start on a very positive note and they have to uh, keep on a very positive note in order for the deal to be successful um, i think that a lot of times things can get lost in translation um, and once kind of like the rapport with the other user becomes negative it becomes a lot harder to work out a deal um, whereas i feel like you know the best deals are the deals in which both sides feel like they're winning both sides genuinely like each other. The biggest mistakes you see when people are trading cards? Oh, uh, this one's an easy one. Uh, overpricing their cards. Um, I think that over, I think in this day and age with kind of like all the comps tools, like market movers, card ladder, 130 point, uh, pricing information is everywhere. Um, so I don't think it really, you know, does any good when you kind of price your cards, you know, 1.5, two times above uh, market value. Um, I think that um, in real life, as well as on the app, I've kind of seen the most success when people are very fair um, with uh, with dealing uh, their comps. A short-term vision versus like a long-term vision, right? Like, like sure, like you know, if you're very stiff on your pricing, you might be able to kind of like get a better deal in the short run. Um, but you know, whoever you work with will not want to work with you in the long run. You know, this hobby is built around relationships. This hobby is built um, around trust. Um, so I think. You know, kind of like having that good rapport with everyone in the community um, is really important. And sometimes that just means, you know, giving someone a little room when it means that, you know, they'll give you another better deal. Like, they'll want to work with you down the road. I'm walking around a show. I see this card. It's priced at 70 And I already know I'm on. There's no way this card's selling for $70. Why does that happen so much? Yeah, I think um, it has to do with kind of the, the psychology of, like, what they paid for the card. Right? Sometimes people might have bought the card when it was worth a lot more. Now that it's dropped a little bit in value, they don't want to give it up at a lower price. Another reason is like people, you know, they buy cards because they like the cards, right? Because they have emotional attachment, right? To them, the card might be worth $70, right? But like the market value might show show otherwise. Um, so, you know, we recommend on Veriswap um, or just, you know, in general, just to price your cards uh, at market value to kind of get the most attention. So my worst sports card investment, I haven't opened up about this, uh, but it used to be Russell Wilson last year though. Now he's on the Philadelphia Eagles. Kenny Pickett burned me good um, Nobody told me to buy Kenny Pickett. I just like everybody else. I took a chance Worst sports card investment like what was the guy actually a very good player is very good card But the market was just not very good um, in late 2021 um, Me and a friend we had paid I think it was like 85k 95k for a Giannis orange prism BGS 10 oh, wow. uh, When we had bought it, you know, we were over the moon. We like immediately called each other, we had celebrated, we were like, wow, we got this for you know, such, a, such a good price. Price is starting trading down. Um, this card was actually sold over the summer for I think 15K. Wow. Uh, so so uh, we, re we really uh, took a bath on that one. Wait, do you, when did you guys decide to sell the card? I think it was last summer. If, summer not for of, 15K? Yeah. Oh, for 15K. 15K, yeah. Like, uh, we just kind of held on to it. Did it um, ever go up though when you guys owned it? No. Because I, I had that problem. I had that problem with a lot of Tom Brady cards. Oh, really? Yeah, like they never went up. I think everything that could have gone wrong with that card went wrong in that, uh, you know, the market obviously went down. Um, BGS prices went down. I think when we had bought it, BGS 10 prices were like, you know, two times PSA 10 prices, right? But then when we had sold it, you know, Beckett had, Be Beckett prices had, you know, dropped a lot relative to PSA prices. Um, so, you know, at that point, we were basically just trying to get rid of it and I think we were actually very lucky to sell it. So back in 2020, you know, I had paid a good amount of money for, it was a Kobe Topps Chrome Refractor rookie. There was no greening on that card. Um, there was absolutely no hulking. It was the best copy that I've ever seen. You know, I'd paid a lot for that card, um, but um, you know, even after the value has dropped a lot, I've never seen a copy uh, that has looked cleaner than this one. And you know, it's still, you know, in my house, in the closet. It hasn't seen light uh, since 2020. Um, and I plan on keeping that card forever. Kobe Bryant, obviously, rest in peace. One of the best. Uh, you're a big Kobe guy. That card greened because it was in the light. Is that true? I think so. So yeah. with a card like that, you it's your PC, but you like want to present it. But like, how often are you looking at that card? Because you don't want it to green. Yeah, I'll like go into the dark and kind of like look in, look at it, you know, a little bit. 
Uh, but I try to not take it out too much. I think the main thing is just like long-term sun exposure. So I think it's okay if you know, kind of pull it out for a little bit. Yeah. As long as you don't like, you know, leave it basking in the sun, then I think generally you're good to go. Raymond's open to feedback and anybody that's on the app or you're gonna try the app, we really want you guys to try it out. Um, it's completely free to sign up. Yeah, so a lot of our key features, such as the one where you're able to uh, look up prices, um, a lot of the ones where you're able to, uh, you know, interact with other traders on the platform, um, those are all like initial pieces of user feedback. A lot of users requested it. Um, so I guess for me as a founder, um, what's really important to me is that uh, our users reach out to us and let us know, um, you know, in any way possible, like how we can improve and make the app even better uh, than it is right now. Nobody likes dealing with fees. Well, I have something for you guys. If you use my code MOJO15 on Veriswap, take that off your fees. That's my gift to you guys, Mojo15 on Veriswap, and it'll cover some of your fees so you can make some more freaking profit on your deals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If, like I said, guys, use my code, come hang out, come do some trades. I'm gonna put some cool cards up, give you guys some deals as well. And Raymond, any last words to the audience? Thanks for having me. And I'm excited to use Veriswap at the shows this year and online. We're not gonna be going to as many card shows, but you can get that card show experience on Veriswap with me. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, and don't forget to comment what your best trade was because I'm gonna give away 10 winners, 10 people are gonna win, and make sure you're subscribed, sign up with that code, and we'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.